boom, 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 going on. And I went. Oh, boy, that's, everything sounds weird to me today. Uh, no wonder. No wonder it sounds weird. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> Somebody got an 808 in the room? <laughs> oh, come on. See, with, with your keyboards, now you just turn it on and you're, you're in tune. It must be the Ibiza um, humidity. <laughs> heard the boom, 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 boom. So I had to have these really hip chord changes. It wasn't like, you know, the other sort of dance records that I was hearing. So it had this hip, jazzy voice leading. And, and um, when I first wrote, wrote it, because I had this nice steady four on the floor going on, I was playing. Uh, I was playing. So it was like, wow, my life has is, is changed because I could be cool in my world, I could be jazzy and hip, but I could still rock the dance floor. And, um, and that was a magical moment for me because, you know, I, I called my partner and I was like, man, yo, we gotta, get, we gotta get into this stuff because I can feel life changing. You know, the Apollo was paying my paycheck and all that sort of thing, but downtown it was excitement. Um, anyway, so my girlfriend and I, we started going to a bunch of clubs and, and we could just hear this underground stuff brewing and I wanted to be a part of this movement, and I didn't quite know what it was, but I could watch it building around me. Every time I would go to a club, there were white people, black people, gay people, Latin people. It was just, everybody was coming together, hence, everybody danced. It just, it was, it, everything sort of made sense. 